So I picked up some welding equipment in Yuma with the intention to learn, not only learn, learn how to weld, but to build an extension for my wheelchair ramp, motorcycle ramp. Um, so uh, I wouldn't have to pull that 10 foot aluminum ramp out every time I wanted to load and unload the motorcycle. Um, it's a pain in the ass to pull it in and pull it out and stuff it back in. It's always in the way. So, um, anyway, so I learned how to weld finally and uh, got this uh, ramp built and uh, as you can see in a minute it works pretty doggone good. It flexes but um, you know this uh, motorcycle only weighs 400 pounds so, um, and that's full of gas. So. But uh, the welds aren't uh, aren't perfect but uh, as you can see they work pretty well. So my ramp appears to work. Um, it's a whole lot lighter and a whole lot shorter than the other one. And it took me surprisingly little time to uh, finish it. And uh, for what I would have paid somebody to build me one, uh, actually the guy was almost done with it. He just didn't finish while I was in town. So what I would have paid him to finish this thing, I, I bought the welder, all the equipment and everything for what he would have uh, well, he would have charged me to, to build it, so I'm really excited to have my new ramp. I've also done just enough paddling um, to know that there is more water, or as much water as I've seen in Alabama. Um, seems like there's a river or a creek or a lake pretty much everywhere um, in uh, the panhandle, so I'm going to do a bit more exploring. This is the East River, which is less than a mile from the compound uh, it's real easy to get to it's got a nice little camping spot boat landing and uh, there's lots of little um, lots of little uh, holes to paddle in along the river and I didn't even get to the main river this is just a small tributary to uh, one of the larger rivers and of course there's a lake nearby too probably even closer um, I think it's a fee-based lake. I think you got to pay $5 to get in there. And, of course, I fixed the fuel leak on the bus, and I'm trying to find the source of an oil leak, pretty bad oil leak that's coming on the left, in between the uh, air compressor on the left and the block. And uh, here I'm actually cutting a, a port, a hole for the, uh, for the water fill port um, so I can fill my water tank, my fresh water tank without having to crawl up under the bus and uh, connect it. And there's the port right there. Pretty excited about this. Um, still haven't installed it because I have to uh, find uh, the right uh, adapters for the hose. And uh, But uh, but once I find the uh, the hose adapters, I'll, I'll just be able to smack it right on. But it uh, fits really well. And, it, you know, it's locking, so I don't have to worry about somebody coming and pissing in my <laughs> fresh water tank. I can do that all on my own. Cutting, uh, cutting metal is a little bit harder than it looks sometimes. This had actually two steel panels that, uh, that overlapped and it, of course I'm putting it in right at the overlap, but it's also right under the uh, right under the floor so there's lots of uh, joist steel joists that go just a, just above this so I didn't really have a lot of choices where I put it and of course uh, I've stepped the mast a couple of times this is the second time I stepped it it's uh, it's really something you need two or three people to, to do uh, to step the mast because it's not so much I mean it's heavy but it's a uh, it's not just heavy, it's really bulky, and uh, as you can see, the, the boat's bouncing around pretty pretty well. And I still haven't run the sail up, but I'm, I'm missing some pieces, and I just wanted to see what, what kind of pieces I was missing and how short I'm going to be. Um, 
I, I have no idea how to do this. I've tried to find some resources online, but nobody really gives you detailed information, so it's all kind of guesswork about how to assemble it. And, you know, I'm just looking at diagrams, which aren't very good. Um, you know, I don't know how, t how tight these, uh, the stays are supposed to be. You've got some, some, uh, side stays and a four stay basically three cables that hold the mast in place and, uh, and I'm not sure exactly how tight they're supposed to be apparently you can tune them and make them tighter and looser to tune the sail and I'm not sure exactly what that's all about but uh, I'm getting closer I just ordered some more parts for the uh, for the rigging and uh, hopefully I can get all put to put together before the end of April and do some sailing part how to sail hopefully I'm sure it's going to be a disaster up here. Probably have to swim back to shore after I sink the boat. But it's been fun so far, and uh, can't wait to actually move under wind power eventually. I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully, uh, you'll see some videos here soon.